If you and your family are having trouble paying rent or the mortgage or utilities, you're definitely going to want to know about this program. It's called the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, and it was just approved by the Treasury and now is actually in the state and local and area areas where you are. So it works on the basis of your income and the way that it's calculated is by the area median income. Let me tell you a little bit about that. You can find out more about the program by going to this site, home.treasury.gov forward slash news forward slash press dash releases forward slash SM 1228. It's called the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. And just to give you a little bit of insight on it, the purpose is to assist households that are unable to pay rent and utilities. Now, that's not just rent that is back rent, but it also it's also if you're having trouble paying your current rent, rent going forward, or um, your back rent as well. What you need to do to find out where this money is available near you, and if you are eligible, is you need to go to commoncause.org. Commoncause.org will give you a listing of all of the representatives from the president on down to your local elected officials, your, your local senator, your assembly member, all of those individuals. So it goes on the basis of address. You, put, you go to find your representatives, you put in an address. It's an old address of mine. This is for New York. This shows all the elected officials. What I want you to do is after you have this information, take note of your senator. So my senator is Charles Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. What you need to do is you need to call these people you need to call your local senators so that they can tell you the local housing organization that is in charge that has the monies available for the emergency rental assistance program. Now, it's really important that you not take no for an answer. You definitely want to find out where is the emergency rental assistance program in your area where, what program, through which program is it going to be dispersed? These people, your senators will know. So once your senator gives you information and tells you, okay, it's going to be at this housing program, it's going to be at this uh, location or website, you need to follow up and make a call. Calling is the most important thing that you can do because by calling your local elected officials, you are coming out of the woodwork. You're making yourself real. You're putting your problems and your issues and your challenges up front where it's undeniable and impossible to ignore you. So if you need help, if you need help for your family to pay your mortgage or pay your rent, this is the way to go. You don't have to get into debt needlessly. You don't have to take risks, borrowing money, um, payday loans, any kind of horrible thing like that. Your local government has made available $25 billion across the United States for people who are rent burdened. And the way to determine rent burden is by the area median income. You're going to go to here. This is from HUD. HUD is Housing and Urban Development. And this gives the national overall average showing what the area median income is. So let's say a four person household is $68,000. So if you're earning less than $68,000, and you're four people, or full would be $61,200. If you're one individual living in a household, it's $47,600. Now that is for the national average. What you need to do is you need to go and find the specific 
average median income for your county. So let's take a look so that you can get an idea of discrepancies. Here is San Francisco, which is, has a very high cost of living. So 80% of median income, if you're a one person household and you earn less than $71,700, you are eligible to receive public assistance. If you're three people, $92,250, amounts that we would never ever associate with um, eligibility for public assistance, but because of COVID, the limits have changed. So find out if your family is eligible and do the necessary work, make those phone calls, you gotta do it. And if you haven't already joined my A Grants Made Easy Facebook group, come and join. I'll answer any questions that I can. And inside, I set it up as a learning environment. I've set it up with units. Units are specifically giving you information in biteable chunks that tell you about the importance of calling your representatives, giving you a specific emergency assistance guide that tells you everything that you need to do if you are facing a housing crisis, the different um, localities, the different websites that you go to, and come and join. Love to have you. Okay, have a great day. Bye. -bye.